Ahoy and welcome to part two. Here on Selfmade, we make a railgun. <coughs> and as you can see, the um, stock has changed a bit. I added a couple of holes and cut out some more wood. In fact, the rear will hold the batteries. And I cut it in a cut it in a in an angle to make sure that the uh, um, battery holders follow the line of our great design here. I'll probably paint the aluminum in the end. Sticks out a bit too much. It's just a, um, a U section cut out and then bend just a tiny bit to make sure it follows the uh, line of <coughs> the contour of our stock and the long capacitor bank was uh, cut in half for design reasons actually and uh, I have a simple um, L section profile aluminum as always and now I can combine them to form an L shape themselves and in one minute you know why it will look just awesome like this and then once you got this, oh, and the capacitors are just uh, hot glued on there, pretty sturdy, doesn't really come off. And then, three millimeter hole, right through the middle. It's easier to drill it when it's uh, screwed together. And now, we need two longer screws. The other one. There we go. Two holes and another cut out right here to make sure we can combine it. And on top, I drill six or seven millimeters in to make sure we can put some uh, two nuts in there. And they will hold our capacitor banks in place. Looks great already. And then it looks like this. Looks kind of cool already. The rails will just go on top, probably on another uh, U section. And then you can just uh, screw it on top from the sides. Something like this. Oh yeah, and uh, this tiny piece was a U-section. I uh, cut off the uh, walls and bend it. Good idea to, uh, to heat it up before you bend it. It might crack depending on the alloy. So uh, check that first. And uh, yeah, I show you what this is uh, right about now. So that's it for today, guys. Looks already like a railgun, kind of. And yeah, next time we make the projectile, fit the rails onto top of this uh, little stock we have made and uh, fire it. So uh, yeah, like it, share it, make it go around the world and I'll see you guys next time.